<laughs> oh, Mr. Steve, why did you have to go out tonight? I have to do the live stream all by myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm all by myself. Mr. Steve isn't here. That means I can do whatever I want. I'm Mr. Steve. I own a nine-year-old Mercedes-Benz. I think I own the road. Everyone else is a dangerous driver except for me. Wow, wow, beep, beep. There is a very interesting expression in English that goes, while the cat is away, the mice will play. This expression means whilst the boss or manager or supervisor is absent those below them will do whatever they want they will do whatever they please that is to say they will create some mischief whilst the person in charge is absent while the cat is away the mice will play in this case the cat is mr steve are you ready for some mischief i really really hope so because it's just after 10 o'clock here in the uk it's a wednesday night and this is late and live english give me an e Give me an N, give me a G, give me an L, give me an I. G oh, I can't be bothered to do the rest. <sighs> Here we go again. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Duncan in England. How are you today? Are you OK? I hope so. Are you happy? Are you ha 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 ha? I really really hope so now you may have noticed at the start of today's live stream I was feeling a little sad and quite lonely because Mr. Steve isn't here tonight ah oh, I know I know there are many people out there who are missing Mr. Steve sadly he isn't here tonight but there is some light at the end of the tunnel. There is a glimmer of hope that we might see Mr. Steve live towards the end of tonight's live stream in case, just in case, he returns before I finish. So there is a very slim chance, a very slim chance that Mr. Steve will join us towards the end of the live stream. But all that remains to be seen so here we go it is wednesday late and live it's the 18th of july we are now just over halfway through july and also the year can you believe it we are now halfway through 2018 i don't know about you but i think the last six months have gone by so fast and my birthday is also coming up so i will be feeling very very old in around about four weeks time when my birthday arrives once more and of course we will be broadcasting live on my birthday because it will be on a sunday so yes i will be with you live on sunday for those who are wondering when i am doing this the thing you are watching right now live english every sunday 2 p.m uk time and here I am now to prove it every Wednesday, 10 p.m. UK time, live from 
England I still get many people writing to me asking mr. Duncan where are you I am in England the birthplace this is where the English language started this is the birthplace of the English language it's true I'm often asked mr. Duncan how many words are there in the English language how many words are there so right now I'm going to add all of the words that exist in the la English language I'm going to add them all together so just a moment so here we go okay so we've got the verbs the nouns the adjectives the pronouns divide by three add to phonetics da, 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 da. oh okay so the answer is how many words are there in the English language according to my calculator there are a lot there are a lot of words in the English language it's true so it's late and live I hope you are well and happy oh I had such a lovely weekend celebrating my second live stream and of course lots of things taking place on Sunday I had a lovely video made for me as well to celebrate my second anniversary of doing live streams we might show it again because there are some people who did actually miss the live stream on Sunday I don't know how or why because I am here every single Sunday and every single Wednesday so there is no excuse for not knowing when I'm on oh half an hour ago we had the most amazing sunset would you like to see tonight's sunset here it is there it is right now on your screen there is the sunset that occurred around about half an hour ago so I decided to film it from my window and there it is the Sun going down what a beautiful sight and sometimes I don't know about you but I've noticed that sometimes the sunset isn't that interesting it doesn't look that spectacular however tonight's looked amazing the Sun looked very large in the sky and everything was golden and as you can see you can see actually the Sun setting behind the hills in the distance so we had the most amazing sunset tonight and well you don't need me to tell you that I love nature and I love natural events and sunsets happen to be one of my all-time favorite events in nature apart from birds hatching out so when the birds hatch out of their eggs and when they take their first flight that is also a natural event that I I like to observe although <laughs> those particular events are not easy to, to find or catch however sunsets happen more often and so they are much easier to capture and there you can see tonight's sunset I don't think we'll have the whole sunset because it's another two minutes and I'm sure people will start tuning away I think so so there it is tonight's sunset and I know that some people like to see the sunset we'll be taking a look at the spiders in a moment because I have been asked about the spiders so I've set my little camera up in the other room and we will have a look at the spiders don't worry we won't get too close but we will just take a look at them for a few moments so that coming up as a little warning for those who don't like spiders but really they're quite harmless because they're in glass boxes however they will give you quite a nasty bite the live chat is also up and running hello to the live chatters tonight oh many people on the live chat let's have a look let's see who is on the live chat tonight 
oh by the way i hope we don't have the same problem that we had on sunday where my my internet connection was cut off i still think it's youtube i st i still believe that it was youtube's fault shirin is first on the live chat tonight hello shirin nice to see you also Garcia, mina belarusia is here hello belarusia nice to see you here tonight very good to see you hello mr duncan hello classmates it is belarusia's birthday today oh happy birthday belarusia happy birthday for your special special day so I suppose I should say something special, shouldn't I? Really, I think so. So I suppose I should say something like. It's your birthday. Yes, today it's your birthday. Hip hip. Hooray. Happy birthday, Belarusia. And I hope you have a super duper day. And did you get many presents? Did you get something nice for your birthday? I hope so. Back to the live chat. Mina is talking about the World Cup. Yes, that seems such a long time ago now. The World Cup seems like weeks and weeks ago, <laughs> but it was only last weekend. So, yes, France won the World Cup. Well done to France. Congratulations. No hard feelings. Pedro is here. Hello, Pedro Belmont. And Pedro wishes to say best best wishes to Belarusia. That's very kind of you. Hey, Mr. Duncan, Tasneem is here. Hello, Tasneem. Nice to see you in the live chat. We are live from England right now. It's 17 minutes past 10 o'clock at night. I'm covered with flour at the moment because I've been cooking. Oh, I see. You've been very, very busy in the kitchen. So are you making your own birthday cake? Is that what's happening? Hamza says the cats away and the mice will play. Yes, that is what I'm doing tonight because Mr. Steve isn't here so I can do anything I want. Anything. Cad Khadija is here. Hello. Yes, we are very happy. I'm glad to hear that. It is a happy day. I hope you are happy where you are. Open minded, open hearted says, yes, I am too happy and I'm full of beans. Really? Well, that means that you are feeling very lively indeed. I'm very pleased to hear that. We love your T-shirt. It is great. Thank you, Alex, for that. Hello, it is time to learn English. Yes, it is. If you want to improve your listening skills, if you want to improve the way you understand English, then you are now in the right place. It is live English. Sadly, there is no Mr. Steve tonight, unfortunately. Hi, Mr. Duncan. I was studying phrasal verbs, but it it is so difficult. Well, there are quite a few phrasal verbs. There are many in the English language. Francisco says hi, everybody from Spain. We like the sunset. It is great. Great picture. Thank you, Palmyra, for that. Sergio is here. Hello, Sergio. Nice to see you as well. Wow. So many people on the live chat tonight. I will try to include everyone. Sometimes I do miss people out on the live chat, but if I do, I, I, I certainly apologize because sometimes I miss you out, but purely by accident, purely by accident. So don't worry, I don't do it on purpose, <laughs> honestly. So the live chat is now up to date. We have caught up. Did you expect France to actually win the World Cup? asks Tasneem. Well, France were the favourite to win. So I remember a few weeks ago when people on the TV, some of the sports commentators, they were talking about who might win the World Cup. And they said that France were in 
the lead so it looked as if France were very 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 much the favorite to win the World Cup I love your way of talking mr. Duncan thank you Hasna for that I try my best and that's all anyone can do I received a very interesting message today Pedro Belmont are you watching I hope so because Pedro sent me a recording that he made and he's asked if it would be okay for me to play it tonight on the live stream so here we go we're going to listen to this together so Pedro here it comes here is the special message from Pedro Belmont hi Mr. Duncan this is Pedro Belmont from Brazil Manaus I'm here because I'd like to wish congratulations for your for your second anniversary doing live stream on YouTube. I must admit I've been learning a lot with you and with Mr. Steve as well. Your creativity and the way you teach English is awesome, is amazing. I don't have words for express my gratitude for everything you have been done for for us. So, again, Mr. Duncan, congratulations for your excellent work. I'd like to ask a question for you. How about my English? How about my accent and my pronunciation? I remember when I sent that video for you, my English was very bad, was very awful. I looks like a, a hobo, a robo speak English. So I want to know if I have been done improvement. Uh, send a big hug for Mr. Steve and for the other students here and my name. I hope you have an excellent day with happiness and the many good things for you and for Mr. Steve. So tata for now and uh, see you see you in the class. Bye bye. Kiss and hugs. Bye bye, Pedro. Thank you very much for your message. Well, I must say, from the last time you sent a message to me, I can tell that your English has improved. Now, before when you sent the message, you were very hesitant. You you were thinking too much about what you were going to say. But on the recording that you sent me today, you sound a lot more confident. So I don't think you sound like a robot. I think it's very clear. So it's very clear, very precise. And of course, you still have a slight accent, but there's nothing wrong with that. So some people do really get quite upset about their accents, but everyone has an accent. I have an accent when I speak English here in the UK lots and lots of people have accents when they speak English so the fact that you have an accent is nothing to worry about so don't worry about it a lot of people spend too much time worrying about how they sound as the most important thing the most important thing of all is that you can be understood and I understood what you said and that's it that's all you really want so there are one or two things but mainly we are talking about grammar and some of the words that you use for example you don't look like something when you hear you hear something so you sound like something so when you're listening to something we can say that you sound like something not you look like something because looking is visual listening is going in your ears so when we hear something we can say we sound like i sound like you sound like you are upset that means i can hear from the way you speak that you don't sound happy so that is just an example of how to use it so there thank you very much Pedro and if anyone else out there wants to send a recording in 
well here is my email address let me just put it up on the screen because a lot of people don't know that I have an email address it's true and there it is right now going across the screen and also I have a Facebook page as well and you can contact me via my email or of course you can join me on Facebook where you will find out lots and lots about my upcoming live streams and of course you can personally say hello as well on Facebook or as I said before via email and if you want to send something to me maybe a little message maybe you want to record your voice or maybe you want to make a video you are more than welcome to do so don't make it too long about maybe two minutes and I will play it on one of my live streams how does that sound and if you would like my opinion as to how you sound when you are speaking English then feel free to ask absolutely no problem so now you know the email address there is no excuse for not knowing it I've had some questions about the spiders people asking how are your spiders are they okay well yes they are fine I'm still looking after them for my friend I think he will be coming soon to collect them I hope so anyway so here are the spiders you can see there are three spiders in glass boxes and you can see the one on the end and the one on the other end but the one in the middle has gone to sleep he's having a sleep and if you look at the small box on top you can see that there are some little insects inside which I have to feed to the spiders and I hate doing it I really hate doing it so I can't wait until our friend comes to collect his giant tarantulas and the other night the other night I could hear a strange sound coming through one of the glass boxes and and one of the spiders was trying to scrape out of the box I could actually hear the spiders fangs fangs scraping on the top of the box he was trying to get out so there they are the spiders they are safe and well I wish I could say the same thing about the crickets unfortunately <laughs> the outlook for them isn't so good unfortunately I'm, I'm sure I'll get a lot of complaints now about that mr. Duncan how could you feed insects to the spiders I have no choice if I don't do it the spiders will die and then I think my friend will be very very angry back to the live chat what is going on oh my goodness <laughs> Pedro we can understand what you said and that is the most important thing Anna you are absolutely right so there you see you see Pedro everyone thinks that your English is good and I certainly think that it has improved Aurora also says great Pedro congratulations I like your accent so yes Tasneem says the same thing as I did earlier on yes everyone has an accent I have an accent even the Queen of England has an accent <laughs> Reda says oh sir it's Gmail not Y mail no it's Y mail I have Y mail it is Yahoo mail so yes I am right I do know my own email address <laughs> it is it is Y mail it stands for Yahoo mail so yes it is right I know that Anna Rita uh, I I totally agree with you so Pedro Pedro agrees with Anna that's good I could I could not see the spiders it is so terrible they are a bit creepy but 
I've had them for about six weeks now and I've got quite used to them to be honest I don't even think about it Mohammed Abdo says I don't like spiders well nor do I I don't like spiders in fact I don't know why I even agree to look after them I blame Steve it's his fault it's Mr Steve's fault okay so let's all blame Mr Steve because he's not here <laughs> to answer back Khadija says can you Mr Duncan do as a video about tips for beginners of English because the first time that I see your channel oh Khadija thank you thank you for that and welcome well most of my videos do have the words underneath you can actually see the words under the video the important is connecting not perfection yes Aurora you are correct as long as people can understand what you are saying that is the most important thing Reda what is the difference between should have would have and could have I I'm sure I answered this question recently well should have is something that didn't happen but should have happened would have is something that might would have happened if the circumstances had been right I would have come yesterday but it was raining and could have well again could have can be the possibility of having something so you could have tomorrow off if you want don't give up Aurora it's a phrasal verb <laughs> give up give up don't give up thank you Pedro for that encouraging advice who gets spiders for pets well some people do I must admit I'm not a big fan of keeping animals in cages or boxes to be honest but some people like to keep animals uh, I'm not a big fan of it myself personally I will be glad to see the spiders go to be honest Mohammed says I like your lessons so much thank you very much Tasneem like there are thousands of other better pets to actually get yes you could have you could have a mouse or maybe you could have a goldfish or perhaps you could have a rabbit as a pet some people do have rabbits as pets you could also have maybe a dog now dogs are very popular at the moment here in the UK many many people have got dogs I don't have a dog I don't have any pets unless of course you count Mr Steve I think Mr Steve might be might be my pet I think so <laughs> I'm just drinking some water because my throat is very dry in here it's very dry tonight we've had another hot day here in the UK open-minded open-hearted by email I'm not sure what that means I'm sure it means something to someone <laughs> that's it mice are disgusting well some people like to keep mice it, it, it is interesting how the tastes of people vary so one person likes spiders another person doesn't like spiders so it's very interesting when you look around that some people like one thing whilst other people dislike the same thing so some people like to keep spiders whilst others are completely afraid of spiders and they would never go near them so there is a difference some people like to keep a cat in their house whilst some people hate cats so it's very strange isn't it 
very strange how the world works sometimes thank you very much for your learning thank you Kadi Khadija <laughs> I have a cat and a tortoise a tortoise well I suppose tortoises are very easy to keep because they don't move very fast now I I used to have a tortoise when I was a child and what we used to do to stop it from running away we actually made a little hole at the back in the shell and tied a piece of string to it so that so the tortoise couldn't run away because sometimes they would disappear so what we did we tied a little piece of string to the tortoise <laughs> and then when it moved around the piece of string would stop it from going too far I'm sure I'll get complaints about that as well spiders are disgusting says Pedro if you really got if you really like animals you should wish them to be free yes Sara I agree <laughs> but sadly I can't let the tarantulas go into the garden for two reasons one I think it would scare the neighbors and two they wouldn't survive they would die quite quickly in this environment so I have no choice and my friend has asked me he said Duncan Steve can you look after my tarantulas so that's what I've done and that's the reason why there are three tarantulas now in my house but I'm really looking forward to getting rid of them to be honest so hopefully they will be gone soon I'm hoping so anyway we had a little celebration at the weekend didn't we yes we had a little celebration because it was my second anniversary of doing the live streams and I had the most amazing video sent to me by some of my lovely online students and for those who missed it on Sunday here it is again Hi, Mr. Duncan. How are you today? Are you okay? I hope so. Are you happy? I hope so. Congratulations on your second anniversary English live stream on YouTube. You have helped so many people to learn English. I've just followed your channel for just about a year, but I am amazed by its content. Your videos are so informative, amazing and educational with excellent quality you and mrs steve are so clever and fun i love your live stream it gave me the opportunities to practice listening and writing in english i love your garden and the amazing view from your window as well thank you so much for your effort 
and I hope you keep on producing more videos. That's all for me. You know what's coming next. Just out for now. Dip, 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 do, do. Oh, yes. It is a Wednesday night, and look out the window. You can see the sun has definitely gone now. We had the most glorious sunset about an hour ago. Really, really wonderful sunset. But now the sun has gone, and nighttime has arrived. Because, of course, it is 19 minutes away from 11 o'clock at night here in the UK. So it is quite late, to be honest. And this is Late and Live with me, Mr. Duncan. I hope you are OK and super duper. Thank you so much once again. I was really moved. I was quite emotional on Sunday when I was talking about the actual messages that I received for my second anniversary of live stream. So thank you very much. And don't forget, if it wasn't for you being there watching me, I wouldn't be here doing it. So I suppose I have you to thank for that. So here we go. It is Wednesday night and I've been told not to show the spiders anymore. So we won't be seeing the spiders anymore. Here's something I'm going to ask you about now. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where suddenly you feel hungry? What do you do? What is the first thing you go for? What is the thing that you often eat as a quick snack? So is there something that you always go for or something that you always go to get? maybe from the kitchen, maybe in the refrigerator or in the cupboard. So is there something that you like to grab when you want to eat something very quickly? And there are many, many things that you could actually choose. Tonight, I had my all time favorite quick meal. Can you guess what it is and what is yours? So when you feel hungry, when you want to have a very quick snack or you want to eat something in a hurry, what do you eat? What do you have? So what is the thing that you grab when you want to eat something very quickly? Is it something healthy or is it something not so healthy? If you remember on Sunday, we were talking about my ever growing stomach because my stomach is getting larger due to the fact that I've been eating quite a lot of chocolate recently. As Mr. Steve was very, very keen to point out on Sunday. So when you feel hungry, what do you grab? Do you grab something from the cupboard or from the fridge? So let's have a look, shall we? And I will reveal my my favorite snack a little bit later on. Oh, thank you, Ricardo. Ricardo says you are very funny. Oh, thank you very much. Well, I try my best. You know what? You know what they say? Laughter. Laughter is the best medicine. That's what they say. Laughter is the best medicine. By the way, Mr. Duncan, do you watch any British YouTubers? Now that 
is a very interesting question i do watch many things on youtube so i don't just make videos on youtube i don't just present live streams i also watch a lot of content on youtube a lot of the things that have been posted by other people there aren't many famous british youtubers to be honest and certainly when it comes to teaching english i think i'm i'm one of very few in the uk there are many in other countries such as the united states and canada and other parts of europe as well but here in the uk there aren't that many there aren't very many to be honest and don't forget i am the first british person to ever teach english on youtube it's true <laughs> this is the coolest english channel in the world thank you pedro you are very kind well the wonderful thing about this is that you can join in and you can add things live so i think that's one of the best things about doing a live stream is you can do it live and also you can involve other people as well ricardo says happy birthday from buenos aires so I think Ricardo is saying happy birthday to Belarusia. Oh, hello, Mika. Mika is here watching in Japan. Hi, I've finished my morning chores. And as soon as I and soon after I joined you, I found my face on the screen. I was very surprised. Yes, well, you were very very much involved with the, the special video that i received so thank you very much mika for your greetings as well i i do appreciate it congratulations for your second streaming video or my second streaming year we hope to continue for a really long time yes me too frankly speaking i follow your videos and i feel that my english has become more strengthened well, I'm glad to hear that. Don't forget, listening is a very important skill. And the more you listen to English, the more you immerse yourself. If you immerse yourself, it means you get deeply connected with something. So you can be immersed in English. So try to make English something that you learn every day try to learn new words every day as well did you eat any chocolate do you mean today no i haven't eaten any chocolate today <laughs> when i want to eat something in a hurry i will grab some fruit all sorts of fruit I think you are very similar to Mr. Steve because Mr. Steve, if if he feels hungry, he will often grab a banana. So quite often he will eat a banana. We also have some healthy snacks as well that Mr. Steve likes and also I like as well. Yes, I look like a child because I love biscuits and I normally eat them every day. I see. Well, biscuits are very convenient. Quite often when we want to eat something in a hurry, we will quite often grab something that is convenient. And quite often convenient food can also be very, very unhealthy. Palmyra, I've heard a new word, hangry. <laughs> oh, yes. If you are hangry, that means you feel annoyed because you are hungry. So it is actually the combination of two words. It is the combination of hungry and angry. So if you combine those words, you get hangry. <laughs> if I remember right, I think that that is now in the English dictionary as well. Mr. Duncan, I am waiting for my examination results. Oh, Hasna, Hasna, I hope they they turn out well. I will keep my fingers and my toes crossed for you. Alice, to be honest, when I'm hungry and angry, 
i have chips now when you say chips do you mean chips like potato crisps or do you mean chips as in slices of fried potato so there is a difference so in british english when we say chips we mean pieces of potato that have been fried but they are very big pieces of potato and you fry them and quite often people will eat fish and chips but in the united states when they say chips they actually mean crisps so crisps are the crunchy things they are very thin and they have many different flavors of chips or crisps so there is a difference between those words and they can be used in different ways oh we have someone in the uk hello to milat hi milat i can see you on the live chat watching in derby hello to you i like to eat fruit says belarusia when i feel hungry sergio says i never have breakfast so then my stomach will sleep <laughs> until lunch it's amazing how many people don't have breakfast sometimes i don't especially if i have lots of things to do i, I will sometimes skip breakfast i won't have my breakfast alex says i used to eat snickers snickers that's a type of chocolate bar with peanuts inside and also drink coffee but now i prefer something made of meat oh i see something with a bit more nutrition when i feel hungry i have some nuts yes mika that's a good idea something you can grab something very convenient that you can grab and eat especially when you are on the go on the go if you are on the go it means you are doing things whilst moving around so maybe you're traveling from one place to another in your job you are on the go and sometimes it's very hard to get something to eat when you are on the go millet yes i can see you are watching in derby and also parvin is here hello parvin watching in london i i know i have quite a few people watching in london and around the uk sharin says i forgot to say hello from egypt well i will say hello to you anyway so hello sharin watching in egypt mr duncan please tell me what is on your t-shirt it does not appear clearly <laughs> you want to see my t-shirt okay then there it is <laughs> it is my t-shirt i i wore this today because it has it has a cat on the front you see a tiger and at the start of today's live stream i talked about an expression that has cat in it so there we go and it's a tiger saying i'm great can you see it i'm great so there it is <laughs> the problem with doing something on camera is quite often it's reversed so when you look at yourself on the screen it's the wrong way round. so that's why when you want to point that way you point that way and when you want to point that way you point that way because everything is reversed it's very confusing so there is my t-shirt i hope you like it <laughs> hello from morocco oh hello morocco calling morocco can you hear me ikam is here ricardo hello from turkey oh turkey when i feel hungry i like to eat kebab <gasps> yes i remember when i was in turkey i saw lots of places selling kebab 
kebab can kazan kazanchi or kazanchi thank you very much for your message from turkey what is the difference between noodles and spaghetti well there are certain differences but quite often the difference is the way they're served the difference is the way in which they are served so noodles are often served dry whilst spaghetti is often served with sauce or meat and sauce Parvin I am your student since 2011 Wow so seven years Parvin has been watching amazing really you are a tiger <laughs> you are great by all means thank you open-minded that's very kind of you to say so I saw something quite amazing last week and this is something that I wanted to show you on Sunday but I didn't have chance because we had a very busy lively discussion on Sunday did you see it Mr Steve was getting very excited and at one point we were arguing with each other it does happen sometimes we do sometimes argue <laughs> it's true and I saw something amazing in the sky now this is something that I've never seen before ever so imagine seeing this right above your house can you see now at first I thought there were birds but then I realized that they weren't birds they were actually small gliders they are actually planes small light aircraft so you can see there are lots of them flying around in the sky and this was right above my house so I, I grabbed my camera and I tried to film some of the gliders glider so a glider is a type of airplane that has no engine it just uses the jet stream and the air current to fly just like a bird so there were lots of gliders in the sky above my house I was quite amazed to see them there and this happened last week but look there are so many of them and the amazing thing is none of them crashed into each other <laughs> I don't know how they did it but I thought that was amazing I've never ever seen anything like this and this was right above my head as I was standing in the garden and as I was filming more and more planes arrived so the planes you can see are called gliders gliders look it looks as if they're going to hit each other but they don't <laughs> dear me so that was something I saw last week and there are a couple of places nearby quite close to where I live there are a couple of airfields where planes take off and land so that is where these particular gliders came from so there you can see in the distance it is going away and there is a nice close-up shot so there you can see the detail of the glider and there you can see there is there are normally two people sitting inside but would you like to go up in one of those would you ever have the nerve to go up in one of those I, I know my answer already my answer is no no I wouldn't I would never ever go up in one of those and that's it the end of my display as the final glider comes around to say goodbye <laughs> bye bye gliders bye bye <laughs> so there's an unusual sight something very strange back to the live stream ah there you are did you enjoy that something slightly different 
one of the things i love about living around here is you never know what you're going to see next you never know what you are going to see next the live chat is very busy i am asking questions when you want something to eat and you want to eat it in a hurry what do you normally grab if i made a song in english will this improve my english well listening to music and also composing or writing your own music with words is a very good way to improve your english yes i agree with you i think it is a good idea so yes i would say go for it do it give it a try your talking way is really cool keep going thank you arch for that yes i have been teaching english on youtube for over 11 years i started doing this way back in 2006 how do the gliders not crash into each other i know i don't know how it was amazing i've never seen anything like it i i thought how do they how do they avoid each other it was incredible alice says were those gliders remote controlled no no there, there are people inside them flying them but they have no engines <laughs> may you tell us the exact meaning of gliders well a glider is a type of plane that flies without engines so to glide is to move naturally you move naturally you can glide on air gliders normally have very large wingspan yes caradas you are right so normally the the center of the glider is very narrow and the wings are very wide you are right and they are normally made from very light material i think they're made from carbon fiber if i remember rightly or fiberglass mohammed i think the gliders have long wings they certainly do and, and they look amazing normally when i want to grab something to eat in a hurry can you guess i like oh it it was amazing popcorn oh yes i love popcorn but you know nowadays it's so hard to get good popcorn i remember growing up i know i'm going to sound like an old man now but i remember growing up i used to eat popcorn all the time and it was always gorgeous and fluffy and light and sometimes they would put sort of honey or caramel on the outside of the popcorn and it was delicious but nowadays i don't know why maybe it's me maybe i'm just old-fashioned but i think popcorn nowadays isn't very good it's it's horrible it has no taste in fact it has no flavor whatsoever those gliders are like drones well they're not really the same as drones for two reasons one they can't travel very far and two they are not used for military purposes yes the, the gliders look like a flock of birds that's what i thought when i first saw them in the sky <laughs> i actually thought that i was watching a flock of birds it is yes it's true i make popcorn at home says parvin ah yes you can make your own popcorn but nowadays i think popcorn is dreadful especially when you go to the cinema i remember the last time i went to the cinema i bought a bucket of popcorn and you know you put your hand in and you eat the popcorn and the first thing i noticed was how soft the popcorn was it wasn't crunchy i like the, the popcorn to be crunchy and it, it just had no flavor horrible 
I didn't like the popcorn at all so old-fashioned popcorn is what I like <laughs> in Egypt we eat eat popcorn salty yes you can get the same thing here if you go to the cinema and you get some cop popcorn they more they normally put salt they normally put salt all over your popcorn I don't think I, I, I don't really like that I like my popcorn sweet and sugary <laughs> no surprises there I suppose Monsanto genet uh, Monsanto corn is genetically modified is it really I don't know about that I, I wouldn't know about that particular thing popcorn is prepared in the microwave and so they are not as good as the ones made in the traditional way thank you Carlos I read your message just before you <laughs> deleted it I don't know why you deleted it it's quite a good point Mr Duncan can you can you say that I separated my job last year asks Hassan you don't say that you separated your job it depends really what you've done do you mean that you left your job so if you stopped working for someone we can say that you left your job last year you left your job that means that you stopped working for those people so yes you can say I left my job last year of course if you have no choice we can say that you lost your job so if you have lost your job that means someone else has told you that you can't work there anymore they have said we don't need you to work here anymore we will say that we have lost our job <gasps> oh dear open-minded says when I was hungry I want to eat something in a hurry I prefer to eat a Moroccan dish Ooh, especially couscous a lot of people like couscous nowadays it's very healthy it is seen as a healthy snack Mohammed I try I, I like to try your popcorn yes sweet sugary popcorn as far as I'm concerned that's the only way to have popcorn trust me sadly there is no Mr. Steve tonight I'm very sorry about that a lot of people are asking or they were asking during the week because Mr. Steve did say that he might be here but he isn't he isn't going to be here at all I'm sorry about that I thought it'd be interesting to show you something from around my studio something that I use quite often here is a very useful thing a very useful thing that I use quite often in my studio especially when I want to attach one thing to another so when I want to attach one thing to another I will use this and this is called clamp a clamp so this is a clamp clamp can you see it and in studios video studios or film studios you will see many of these all around so this particular thing is a very useful item it is a very useful tool to have around because with this you can attach one thing to another very easily there you can see so now that is attached and it is firmly attached so it won't move it won't move anywhere clamp clamp to clamp is to hold on to something tightly so if you hold on to something tightly you grab something tightly and you don't let go you clamp you clamp so clamp can be used as a verb and also as a noun 
so this is called a clamp and also you can clamp something for example if your car is parked in the wrong place maybe you are parking illegally you are parking your car where it shouldn't be the police will come along and they will put something on your wheel so you can't drive away they will clamp your car a lot of people get clamped so there you can see a very useful thing just to show how useful it is you can actually attach anything to it so here we go I will show you now <laughs> of course it won't work now I'm on camera <laughs> come on <laughs> I knew this wouldn't go very well I knew this would be a problem so there we go so there there it is so you can see now that we can clamp anything to anything in our studio and there it is so you can clamp anything to anything with a clamp so now on the end of there I can put a small light or a microphone or a very light camera a very lightweight camera like a GoPro camera so there there clamp a very useful thing especially around here in the studio I hope you enjoyed that something different for a change clamp yes Alice clamp Belarusia says I use clamps in dentistry ah yes you are right yes you, we, we will often clamp something in dentistry and also in surgery so if you are having an operation on your body and they have to cut your body open they will normally clamp clamp maybe clamp the skin or maybe clamp the organ if they are operating on a certain part of your body yes you are right thank you very much for that Jamelia says I love popcorn wow we have some very varied subjects tonight red R says I saw that thing on a microphone stand yes you will see clamps all over the place especially in studios studios such as this Caradas says there are many ways to use clamp in English clamp down if you clamp down on something it means you harshly react to something you clamp down you control something in a very aggressive way clamp down hose clamp that is a type of fitting normally used on pipes and hoses also cable clamp that is something for holding electrical cable in place wheel clamp yes that's the thing I mentioned earlier so a wheel clamp is used to stop a car from driving away so if you are parked illegally or in the wrong place the policeman will come along and he will put a wheel clamp on your car and normally they will fine you as well you will have to pay a lot of money when I need a fast meal I used to make I used to make a milkshake oh yes oh my goodness I love milkshakes I must be honest I do like milkshakes very much when oh, oh banana banana and chocolate I, I like chocolate milkshakes I, I don't like banana milkshakes but I do like chocolate milkshakes <gasps> oh Carlos you are making me feel very hungry now but what is my favorite snack does anyone know can you name my favorite snack and I had it tonight and it's something you can make very quickly 
if someone makes a noise we should clamp our ears can we say that metaphorically yes you might clamp clamp your ears but it's not it's not an expression that you will use very often you don't normally clamp your ears clamps hold his set together oh thank you Jeff I saw what you did there I know what you're up to yes I think Jeff is trying to introduce the use of the word set into my live stream now look mr. Steve isn't here tonight there is no mr. Steve so it's only me so I am 100% in charge Palmyra says pizza oh <gasps> yes did you see last week I was eating pizza last week a week ago tonight so tonight a week ago last week last Wednesday I was eating pizza right here because a week ago England lost do you remember England were kicked out of the World Cup they lost uh, it seems such a long time ago now but it was only last week doesn't time fly I misunderstood hungry and angry laughter is the best medicine yes you're right Belarusia it is and once again happy birthday to you did you have something nice today or do you want to keep it a secret when the police arrest a thief he will clamp him he will actually cuff him not clamp so we actually say cuff cuff I will write that down for you just give me a moment while I unclamp <laughs> I want to unclamp my pen so here we go the policeman when he catches the thief he will cuff cuff can you see that now cuff normally normally relates to something around your wrists so the policeman will cuff the thief so he can't move his hands he will lock his hands together with two metal rings so we call them handcuffs handcuffs so I will write that down for you mm -hmm. handcuffs so there is what they use they use that or they use a pair of handcuffs to lock the prisoners hands together if they arrest someone they will cuff them cuff them so cuff can be used as a noun to describe the object or it can also be used to describe the action so you cuff someone I hope that helps yes it is it is Belarusia's birthday today so thank you Mika for saying happy birthday to Belarusia and don't forget in August it is my birthday and we will be broadcasting live on Sunday on Sunday the 12th of August we will be here live on my birthday open-minded says when I was hungry I would eat whatever things I found because hunger doesn't choose the important thing is to fill your tummy <laughs> tummy I love that word tummy tummy means your stomach tummy T U M M Y tummy teacher I will not be with you on Sunday I will be celebrating my birthday with my family and friends we are having a pizza party <gasps> oh 
I must say I'm very jealous now you're having a pizza without me I can't believe it cuff can also mean strike yes you can cuff someone with an open hand uh, especially on the head yes to hit someone you cuff them thank you Mika I am 50 oh Belarusia that is very brave of you to give your age so happy birthday happy 50th birthday Belarusia a very important birthday now I remember when I had my 50th birthday yes half a century wow can you believe it being half a century old incredible will I make it to a full century mm. that remains to be seen Anabai says good evening Mr Duncan how are you where is Mr Steve Mr Steve isn't here tonight he is out he's been out for most of the evening and also the late afternoon he was out so he's not here unfortunately I'm hoping that he will arrive just before we finish I think he said he might be back at around about half past 11 so we will see what happens we will see what happens talking of sport because we were talking about sport a few moments ago we did mention the World Cup of course and also last weekend there was another sporting event taking place do you know what it was I'm getting some lovely lovely messages on the live chat oh thank you very much just another five minutes to go and then I am saying goodbye five minutes left the big question is will Mr Steve join me before I disappear will he we'll have to wait and see just five minutes and then I am saying goodbye but don't worry I'm back on Sunday and so is Mr Steve we'll be back together on Sunday so hopefully you'll be there as well it looks as if one or two people will be doing other things but that's okay you can always catch the live stream again later on so don't forget you can watch the live stream later after it's finished and of course there will be subtitles as well on the screen and for those who are lucky enough you can have live subtitles now as well for those who are very very lucky so we'll say goodbye in a moment let's have one last look at the live stream and the live chat I laugh so much with your videos Mr Duncan thank you very much one of the greatest things I prefer when I was hungry is soup called Harira it is a Moroccan speciality <gasps> oh yes that sounds very nice I'm sure there are lots of vegetables 
I think there there might be lots of vegetables in that particular soup I think so so this video was the medicine of laughter yes of course there is nothing better than a little bit of laughter because laughter is the best medicine open-minded says this is my game that I love I practice tennis for a long time when I was young I, I unfortunately I, I can't play tennis I'm not very good at playing tennis as you could see from the video but mr. Steve used to play tennis all the time because in his garden can you believe in his garden he actually had a full-sized tennis court I'm not joking <laughs> he actually had a, a tennis court in his in his back garden can you believe that Psyker says we can wait for Mr. Steve if you can Mr. Duncan please thank you Psyker for that well four minutes if Mr. Steve doesn't arrive in four minutes I will go so I will be going very soon Ricardo Mr. Steve is not there because he is celebrating his 25th birthday oh thank you Ricardo I'm, sh I'm sure he will be very pleased to hear that thanks for your messages oh what a wonderful night it's been even though I've been on my own Jeff says you don't look over 50 you don't look over 50 Mr. Duncan thanks a lot Jeff it's very kind of you I am over 50 and I will be even even more over 50 on the 12th of August because that will be my birthday oh dear me another year older but the good news is I can share my birthday with you all because I will be live on my birthday not yet though it's not this Sunday it is not until the 12th of August the 12th of August so write that down in your diary Mr. Duncan's birthday is on the 12th of August and also I will be here live as well and of course Mr. Steve will be here as well as well please send my kind regards to Mr. Steve I will I will do that just for you <laughs> I love to take beef biryani <gasps> oh yes that sounds very nice I do like biryani I like spicy food I like food with meat chicken beef pork fish as well have you ever tried fish curry fish curry it's very nice it's very lovely good night to all and greetings from a very hot Lithuania Palmyra hello to you it's very hot here as well by the way tonight it's quite hot we are having the most amazing heat wave here in the UK it's been hot every day for for the past four weeks apparently the 12th of August is Mother's Day in my country ah thank you Alice for that I didn't know that Akina Tool says good morning my teacher hello Akina Tool thank you for joining me you are now talking live on the live chat coming up to half past 11 here in the UK Belarusia says I remember the day of your birthday very well well here in the UK we actually have a special name for the 12th of August we call it the glorious 12th do you know why because it's the day when the grouse shooting starts so grouse is a kind of game bird it's a kind of bird a very big bird and on the 12th of August the season for shooting grouse begins and they call it the glorious 12th of course it's not very glorious for the grouse because they get shot so maybe it's not such a glorious 12th after all but what is my favorite snack what is the thing that I like to eat 
I will show it to you right now would you like to see the thing that I eat this is something that I love eating because it's something that I can prepare very quickly we're going to have a look at it right now and this is something that I ate tonight I actually had this for my supper tonight and there are two things that I like to put in to this particular type of food I like to put some cheese and also some garlic into this food but what is the food what is it I will show you right now it's baked beans I absolutely love baked beans since I was a kid if I was going to eat something very quickly I wanted a snack that I could cook very quickly and prepare very quickly and also eat very quickly <laughs> do you ever eat the spiders you can eat them no I don't think I'm going to eat the spiders somehow no definitely not <laughs> I'm going now it's just after half past 11 I'm going so thanks a lot for your company nice t-shirt my lovely teacher thank you Akinator thank you Ricardo for your messages tonight also Belarusia and once again happy birthday to you baked beans yes I love baked beans baked beans are amazing they are also very healthy as well they're quite good for you of course there is one problem with baked beans they have one very unfortunate side effect yes good night redder good night Carlos thank you Mika for joining me tonight you can watch this lesson all over again if you want and there will be some subtitles as well that is it thanks for joining me tonight this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying sadly there is no Mr Steve but he will be back on Sunday I promise have a great rest of the week have a great weekend and then I will be back with you on Sunday from 2 p.m. UK time and of course you know what's coming next yes you do until the next time we all meet together here have fun with your English and of course ta-ta for now